Okay. Yo, hello, it's Revy here, and in today's video, I will be showing you guys the five best transitions to use for your edits. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to support me, I have a website, feel free to check that out. But yeah, let's get right into this. So the first thing we're going to do is to have uh, two clips here uh, where we can make a transition between. So this is my uh, clip here. Pretty simple. So yeah, and the first transition we are going to do is what I call a zoom in and out. So we're going to zoom in on uh, central C here and then boom, zoom out fast and make an impact. So uh, we're going to make a adjustment layer now by pressing Control Alt Y. And here we're going to add a effect called transform. And here we're going to keyframe the scale in the beginning. Go to the point where the two videos meet. If you want to level up your editing, Envato Elements is the perfect platform for you. Envato Elements open up a world of creative possibilities for all of your design projects. And it's powered by a community of talented designers. You will get graphic assets, educational resources and business management tools. Check the first link in the description and make a marker there by pressing the star key and then here we're going to increase the scale to 300 and then go to the ending and set the scale to 100 and now we're going to make the scale here so i'm going to open up the adjustment layer here effects transform then here we have our keyframes which i'm going to be uh, selecting just like that and then press f9 and then open up the graph here and here we're going to right click and set edit value graph and I'm going to drag this one all the way here and this one all the way here as well and drag these two down here. Watch this now. Looks pretty pretty clean. So yeah that is the first transition and uh, yeah now we're going to be moving on to the second one which is going to be a direction blur. So we're going to make a new adjustment layer by pressing ctrl of y and here we're going to be adding a directional blur and you guys can turn on motion blur on the transition area so it looks a lot cleaner and then here on the directional blur we're going to change the direction to 90 degrees because we want it to be uh, horizontal the blur and we're going to keyframe the blur in the beginning at zero and then go to the middle and we're going to go to the point where the uh, clips meet and then make a marker here and go 10 frames to the left delete that and then go 10 frames to the right just like that and now we're going to keyframe our blur here so we're going to go to the beginning here of the adjustment layer and then press the clock on the blur length go to the middle and set the blur length to 100 and then go to the end of the adjustment layer and then go back to zero and you guys can see that when you are using this effect it's kind of like dark on the edges here and how we're going to get rid of this is to add a effect called a motion tile and you are going to drag this above the direction of blur press mirror edges and then here on output height set it to 120 and on the width as well now these dark edges disappear and now we're going to change the time remapping now so we're going to open up the layer here directional blur mark the keyframes press f9 then open up the graph as we did before and here we are going to do a similar curvature as we did before so we get a sharp transition here. This effect maybe doesn't look much, but it makes a pretty, pretty big difference. So yeah, that's how you made the directional blur transition. And yeah, now moving on to the next one, which is going to be the turbulence. And uh, yeah, we're going to make a new adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y. And here we're going to add turbulent displays. And I'm going to be changing the size settings here to 300 instead of 100. And then the amount is going to be zero. And we're going to keyframe the amount uh, from zero all the way to the transition point there and here we're going to drag it up to 50 again and then go back to zero in the ending and if you're not satisfied with this uh, version of the turbulent you can mix around here in the evolution change it to your liking or something like this maybe so yeah when you're done with that you can open up the layer go to effects turbulent displays and as we have done before mark the keyframes press f9 open up the graph and then here drag this one to the middle so now we get something like this. 
pretty pretty smooth and uh, yeah moving on to the fourth transition now so we're going to make a new adjustment layer again control alt y and here we're going to add the square blur effect and the effect is called minimax and we're going to leave the settings at default and keyframe the radius from zero in the beginning go to the middle make a marker drag this one up to your liking and i go to stop at 20 i think it looks good and then go back to zero in the ending so it looks something like this now and i want to change the timer mapping on this so i'm going to open it up fx minimax mark the keyframes press f9 again open up the graph and in the graph here we're going to drag this again to the middle this one to the middle as well and the reason why we make the graph like this is because we want to have an impact on the beat and yeah now moving on to the last transition so control out y again boom and here we're going to add the glitch displace transition here and uh, the effect we're going to be using is called wave warp and here you're going to be choosing on the wave type noise and then we're going to change the direction to zero instead so it becomes horizontal and we're going to keyframe the wave height so it's going to be zero in the beginning and then go to the transition point and change the wave height to 50 instead and then go to the ending change it back to zero looks something like this now looks pretty weird so the first thing we're going to do to fix it is to add motion tile again and you can use the same settings again so you drag this one above the wave warp mirror edges 120 here and 120 here you can just do it on the width because the height doesn't matter now but yeah we want to change the timer wrapping here as well so open the open the layer up mark the keyframes press f9 so yeah now we're going to go to the middle make a marker and then go 10 frames to the left and split the clip and then go 10 frames to the right and if you don't know how to split the clip uh, it's Control shift d and then here we are going to keyframe the wave height in the middle to 50 and in the ending it's going to be zero and in the beginning it's going to be zero as well and you can see it's kind of like dark on edges here so i'm going to be adding motion tile as we did before to get rid of it here drag mo the motion tile effect above the wave warp effect and then choose mirror edges change the output 120 so now it looks something like this instead and i want to change the timer mapping on this as well and uh, yeah you guys can guess what we're going to do now mark the keyframes press f9 open up the graph and then here to make a great impact and if you're not satisfied with the thickness of the glitches here you can mess around with the wave width here change it but yeah i think it looks good so i'm going to leave it at this and uh, yeah, that's all the five transitions I, I was going to show you guys in this video. And uh, they all work very clean together. So if you make all the other transitions visible, it's going to look something like this now. Looks really, really clean. And uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please like and subscribe. And if you guys want to support me, I have a website. So feel free to check that out. I have a Discord as well, where you can talk to other people who likes to edit and stuff. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any new ideas on tutorials I can make, please comment that down below or DM me on my socials. And uh, I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.